Captain Krabuchin commits three crimes very quickly in this scene. On top of stealing the golden banana bunch which is later revealed to be made up of eight bananas he also lands on the monkeys, when he goes to steal them and destroys the stand the bananas were on. He'll get three years for landing on the monkeys, eight years for the theft of the bananas and a $5,000 fine to replace the stand. I know the bosses of Banana Blitz are technically not part of the captain's crew but let's just say that they are for the sake of this video being made. All eight bosses try to throw you out of the ring which is technically attempted murder but let's just see rapid fire through them. Tori and Tackle would be justifiable, because they have marks for where the weak points are located which could probably be from some monkeys in the past. Dinabut would also be fine, as the monkeys were riding on him throughout the fight. Yeti however is hard to pinpoint, if some monkeys harmed him or not. Bazooka Baboon would not be fine, as he is seen firing a missile before the fight starts, Down Under Diva is seen raining rocks into the arena, Yoko is seen using telekinesis to manipulate her ball creature and the captain himself does not hold anything back on trying to throw you out of the ring. And since Sonic is a playable character in the remake I will add 28 life sentences on top of the jail time. Since I am at it Bazooka Baboon is seen firing missiles, when he probably doesn't have a permit to have explosive weaponry. And yeah I know I should have gotten on Baboon, for but him being a genius and probably getting one before the events of the second game is what saved him there. Baboon however isn't smart and is only seen in this game. That would be three years in jail for him. Dive Down Diva is also seen raining rocks into the arena which takes place on a dance floor. Not only is this a danger to anyone else on the dance floor but the excessive noise could also be considered a crime, because cobalt cavers could possibly be taking place at night and to top it off the dance floor doesn't have enough safety rails to prevent anyone from falling out. I don't know what the exact penalty for the first two crimes I just listed would be, but if I took a juice I would estimate a possible 20 years in prison because of the loud noise and the danger being present, a fine of $255,000 and the dance floor shut down. According to the story for the Japanese version of the first Super Monkey Ball Gangan is the leader of the gorillas who not only intend to raid the island but also steal the bananas. I'm just going to give him a life sentence, because Google refused to give me a proper sentence. While Gongan didn't enter the banana palace or whatever that thing is he did destroy the door. While the bananas are excusable, because they are still in the shots afterwards the door was probably made by another monkey and he owns the monkey who built it $5,020 for a new one on top of two years in jail.
Gangan being the brute launches the bomb out of the volcano but never takes into consideration that anyone would be flying. This results in Baboon's airship being blown up. This would have been two crimes but he only committed one here for destruction of Baboon's blimp. Namely, because Baboon could be blamed for the bomb being in the volcano in the first place. So I will just give him a fine of While the destruction of the colony was Baby's idea Baby is so young the jury would never convict him of a revenge fantasy against Dr. Badboon so let's just pin the destruction of Badboon's colony against Gangan. While all civilization there were robots the colony was probably getting ready to be homes for some monkeys so I'll get him with 7 years in jail with a fine of $150,000. Sorry about the bell tower constantly going off. It doesn't calm down until you complete the mission using the cannon. Anyway Dongan's line here and the way he hits the palm of his hand with his fist directly implies that he is going to knock the monster monkeys out. While he didn't know at the time that the monster monkeys were just wearing masks it doesn't make it justifiable. And there were three monkeys so he is getting three years in jail.